having a nice view over Los Santos but yeah this is the doctor speaking and well let's just get into the meat this is gonna be my response video for 36 questions women have for men and well I'm a man so let's do this how does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, you're being serious? I don't know, maybe the same way you feel for being the same sex as Sarah Palin? I mean, what the fuck? Why do you hate rom-coms? Or do you just feel like you need to hate them? Um... Well, personally, I don't hate rom-coms. I'm guessing you're talking about romantic comedies. But, I don't know, maybe the same reason that so many women don't like, I don't know, horror movies or action movies. That's, more, that's actually a personal choice. That's not something that all men or all women think the same about. So, are you guys going to get serious or is this all it's going to be? Everybody likes The Notebook. Everybody likes Beyonce. It's just a fact. No, it's not a fact. Heck, go on YouTube and see how many people bitch on Jay-Z and uh, Beyonce. Heck, I don't even like Beyonce anymore. I used to like her as she used to be when she was in Destiny's Child. So, no, that is not a fact. And that is something you feminists love to say, fact. No, it's not a fact. Why do you make women sit around and talk about men in movies when y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs for hours? So it's basically a fact that men only talk about boobs for hours and women don't talk about other men? Um, what? Seriously, what, 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 what kind of questions are these? I was expecting a little bit more seriousness in this bullshit that you're presenting right now. Why do you automatically assume that you won't like TV or movies that star a female lead? Why? Ugh. Why did I do this? Why did I fucking do this? Actually, men love to see a badass woman in a lead. The thing is, hey, most movies are, most movies that have a woman in the lead are directed to women. You know, the things she goes through are directed to women, so the best thing to do is to have a woman in the lead. But no, just because a woman is in the lead doesn't mean that men hate the movies. Look at the Tom Raider movie. Men loved it. There are plenty of movies. It's about the movie itself. I don't want to say a bad word because you know they're going to call me sexist, but this is just stupid surprised when women are funny? I'm probably funnier than you. <laughs> uh, no, you're not. And I'm not even, I'm not even a funny guy, and that is saying a lot. Second of all, if you have to tell somebody that you're funny or funnier than them, that pretty much means that you're not. Also, there are plenty of women that are funny. I know plenty of women that are really funny. There are plenty of women in comedy that are really funny. It's about the person itself. And if you guys weren't that butthurt to trying to find sexism and bullshit everywhere, maybe you would be funny. Oh heck, this video is kind of funny, so... Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you are funny, but... Not for the right reasons, I would say. Why do you think that we're obsessed with you when we hook up? Not that is bullshit. When we hook up, a man is actually trying to get you obsessed with him. You know? That's what we're trying to do. When a woman hooks up, we're too... I don't know, most men are too happy that we're, that we're on a date with you. Well, I wouldn't say you, but... Yeah. What you just said there is bullshit. You know, we could, have, we could basically ask the same thing of you. Why do you think we're obsessed with you when we finally hook up? You see, uh, these questions, I was, I was expecting something serious, but well, then again, I don't know why I was expecting that from uh, feminists, new age feminists. Nine times out of ten, I just want you to leave too. I'm busy. I got shit to do. Then just tell me to leave or just leave. 
Is that too hard? Aren't you a strong woman? Leave. Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without being judged? When men do it, they're congratulated. Why yeah, it doesn't matter what gender you are. If you sleep with a lot of people, you are going to be judged. And what you just said there is bullshit because the people that are like, you know, call somebody a player or something like that, it's, it's either little boys that want to be like that dude or it's within your own circle of friends, all right? Nobody looks at a man that sleeps around like, oh man, that's a good guy, man. Yeah, that's a good man. We should be like him. No, that's bullshit. You know, it's the same, it's the same thing with this uh, being a G and shit. Nobody looks at a, well, somewhat criminal, wannabe criminal and says, oh yeah, that's a good guy, man. That's good. You're going to be judged by your actions. That's reality. Deal with it. Why do you consider a woman a tease if she doesn't sleep with you after three dates, but a slut if she sleeps with you on the first date? And um, again, that's not all men. Usually the, those are men that aren't looking for something serious. Men that actually want something serious are willing to wait for it. And a slut is a slut. It's easy. It's the same reason why a lot of women go with rich guys that will buy shit for them. Right? That's, that's not everybody. Actually, you're putting... This, this is what you feminists do really good. You put everybody in the same box. It doesn't matter if that man is a good man, if that man is a loyal man, if that man doesn't like sluts like I do. I don't, yeah, sure, I used to sleep around when I was a teen, hey, hormones. But I don't really like sluts. And there are plenty of men that actually want something real. Maybe because you were in that, maybe because your personal choices led you to think that way doesn't mean that all men think like that. Seriously, where are the serious questions? I'm still waiting for one serious question. Is this a trolling operation or something? What world does no mean yes? In the same world where yes means no? Seriously, this is bullshit. You're a strong woman. If a man wants to sleep with you, you don't want it, you say no and that's it. If he keeps on going, it's harassment. Why, why, do, you think we, why do you think we have ar harassment laws? Why do you think women are taken so serious when even when it's bullshit that they say that they've been raped? It's the law. No means no. If a man keeps going on, you can basically sue him. The same thing goes the other way around. <sighs> what world do you feminists live in? No means no. Why do you say that women are too emotional to be leaders? Then justify catcalling by saying Men just can't control themselves. Uh, well, one thing, and that is actually a fact that women are more emotional than men are. However, the men that say that women are too emotional to lead are either very old men that grew up in the 30s, 40s, or simply sexist, but that's a minority. All right, if a woman it's, it's something individual. If a woman is good at leading, they can lead. There are plenty of women that lead in so many places. Heck, we might even have a female president. You know, if, if Trump fucks up, and well, I don't, I don't even understand how the US people can back up Trump like that, but yeah, that's, that's just bullshit. Just because you're not in a position to lead, that means that your choices led you there. But no man is going to say, oh, no, 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 she's, she's uh, been doing a great job leading people, but she's a woman, so she's too emotional. That's bullshit what you're saying right there. Why do you think that just because you're nice to me, I owe you my body? Um, why do some women think just because you're nice to me, I need to buy you stuff? Again, that's an individual not every man thinks like that and if you're actually in a relationship that's something you would expect right just like a woman would expect you to help her out when she needs it or whatever it's a relationship exchanging things like Thunderfoot said exchanging things that's a sign of trust but 
just because you're nice to me doesn't mean that I'm expecting you to sleep with me on the first day. And yeah, many men will try. Heck, many women will try. And maybe it's because many women actually do sleep with you on the first date. It's called expectations. Maybe if most of the women that that guy dated didn't do that, he wouldn't be doing that. Understand how it works? Why would you ever send an unsolicited dick pic? Um, well, why do women send nudes? I've, I've gotten plenty of nudes on Facebook. You know? It's the same reason. Because they want to sleep with you. You know, they want to show you what they got. Seriously, you, got, you, you are acting like it's just men doing that. Well, you can... Most of these questions I can turn around and ask you. It's just so stupid. Why did I do this? Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women or make offensive comments about women, but when somebody does it to your sister, it's not okay? Yeah, that type of guy is an idiot. And most, most guys don't think like that. You know, you get judged by your actions, sure, but if a guy treats, let me, let me put it like this. If a guy treats a woman like with respect, chances are he's treating his sister with respect. If a guy is treating a girl like bullshit, chances are he's not treating his sister that great. You know, sure, it's not, he's not treating the sister the same way, but that simply means that that guy's an asshole and that he treats people that way. It's quite simple to understand, really. It's the individual. You guys are lumping everybody in the same group. Well, that's not even close to being the truth. The fuck is going on here? How does it feel to interrupt me when I'm in the middle of making a point during a meeting? Why do you? Yeah, you know, I doubt that you're that you were ever in a meeting making a point because if you're in a professional meeting and someone just cuts you off then chances are that that person it really isn't going to be doing that job for that much longer because that's rude okay but if you're if you're what you, if what you're talking about is when you're in the streets talking with someone and saying the same bullshit yeah i'm gonna cut you off because what you're saying is bullshit and i don't want to listen to it if you're actually talking intelligently and saying stuff that makes sense i'm gonna listen to it and that's not just because you're a woman. If a man is talking bullshit to me, I'm gonna cut him off, I'm gonna say, yo, bro, I don't wanna listen to this bullshit. Get out of my face. It's that simple. Stop talking bullshit and people won't cut you off. And if somebody cuts you off, just walk away. And like I said, in a meeting, it's simply unprofessional to cut somebody off when they're making a point, be it a man or a woman. And if you were in such a position, you would understand that. You have to sit with your legs so wide open. I because of these nuts, that's why. I mean, it's, it's actually quite simple. These fucking nuts. We can't sit the same way women do. I get that you have balls, but I don't stand around with my arms wide open to make room for my boobs. Okay, so you get that we have balls. Well, okay, that, that's, that's a good step. Maybe the next step is to look at where those balls and your, where my balls and your breasts are located. My balls are right between my legs hanging. Your breasts are on your chest. Your arms are on the side of your body. Do I need to go? Uh, uh, I think I'm losing, I don't think I'm losing brain cells listening to you. Like, really. Why are women perceived as the weaker sex, even though we literally birth you like watermelons through like this? Yeah, and I respect that. Many men, if, well, I wouldn't, well, maybe, yeah, maybe most men even respect that. Nobody is saying that a woman is weak. The weaker sex doesn't mean that a woman is weak. Heck, it's also a fact that women can handle pain better than many men can which is why when 
like I, I would say there isn't a man that could understand how you could get through the, uh, giving birth but physically speaking men are still stronger that doesn't mean that all men are strong and all women are weak do you do you do you english do you understand what weaker means weaker doesn't mean that you're weak the, uh, yeah the, i'm yeah i'm uh, sorry guys i'm just i just want to get through this as fast as possible because like i said i think i'm losing brain cells just listening to these uh why is it so bad to show your emotions? Um, yeah, again, going into that individual thing. Not all men are bad at showing emotions. I, yeah, I am actually pretty bad at showing emotions. That's me, but that's like I said before, that's because women are one. They are more emotional than men are. Generally, they are. Not all, of course, but generally, women are more emotional than men are. Being more emotional, you think that they can handle those emotional better than emotions better than men, and would be able to show those emotions better than men. I mean, whoever wrote these questions, did you ever try to answer them yourself before making this crappy video that is really not... It's not doing a good job for feminism. It's hurting feminism really bad. Let me just put it like that. It means you're human. Wow. Yeah, it means you're human and every human ha deals with their emotions in their own way. Like I said, not all women are good at showing emotions. It's an individual. Why are you always trying to prove your masculinity to me? What? Because that's actually what women fall for. Just like men fall for a... Uh, well, at first glance, let me put it like that, at first glance, and that's simply something that's in our DNA from back when uh, we were gather hunters, back when we were living in trees or whatever. Men fell for a woman with a nice body. A woman, a woman fell for a man that was strong, you know, that was, uh, masculine. And we, that's, that's not something you can just unlearn. Second of all, Many men don't even try to prove it, it's simply who they are. You know, they could be around with friends and they'll try to prove who's the better man, you know, who's the stronger man. That's what, that's what men do. And not only men, you have women, you know, the, the tomboy type, that also try to prove that they're, you know, strong, that they can compete with men. Why the f*** isn't it lady like to cuss? Because it's not. Just like a gentleman shouldn't really cuss. Uh, what? When did words get gendered? Why is it your first instinct to doubt women who have been sexually violated or raped? Why because many women who claim to be claim to have been raped end up not have been raped. Just look at how many, look at how many women have claimed that a guy raped them or sexually abused them and it ends up being bullshit well the guy actually goes to jail for a long time and number two when a woman says that a guy raped them or sexually abused them they are taken a lot more seriously than when a guy does it but yeah you feminists don't want to talk about that do you? How do you assume a woman's angry because she's on her period? Uh, we don't assume a woman's angry when she's on a period. We assume that her emotions are, aren't are really in check when she's on a period. And that she, that she can get angry on a drop of a dime when she's on a period. Which is fact. You know, all the hormones going around causes that. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's simply what happens to the female body when she's on a period. But it still happens. Why do you think women that wear makeup are false advertising? Because they kind of are. And not all women, of course. It depends on how you use that makeup. But you can find so many videos on YouTube where you, you have a before and after picture. And th those are two different, different people. Let me put it like this. What if I put like some kind of mask that make me look like all kinds of handsome, just like you want it? You know, next morning you will wake up, 
and all of a sudden you see somebody that you did you don't even recognize tell me how would you feel would you say that hey hey uh, that's good advertising huh? yeah great we can say the same thing about your dick size what? Uh, what how is that the same how is I, I, I don't under uh, why isn't it weird that there's a bunch of old white men sitting in a room making legislation about what I can and can't do with my body? <laughs> oh, I feel so sorry for the white man in the U.S. having to go through this shit. <sighs> First of all, those old white men are elected, not only by men, but by women alike. Heck, over half of the half of the people in the US are women so it's also women voting for these people to get in there second of all not all women of course but there are many women that need actually need this because a woman says yeah it's my body I can do with it whatever I want to alright but what about the baby what about the man who actually wants to be a father for his child hmm? they, they have nothing nothing to say you know and there was a actually there was actually a, a feminist and I don't know if it was on YouTube or whatever who actually said that it doesn't matter at what point of the pregnancy it is if she wants an abortion she can get it even if it's just before labor if she wants an abortion she can get it okay what about the baby then so the baby doesn't have any rights it's alive at that point you know, and it's debatable at what point in the pregnancy that the baby actually becomes alive, you know. But there are women that they don't care about the kid. They really don't care. If they want to kill that child, they can. There was even a woman who said an infant isn't really a person. I'm sorry, but people like that really need somebody to tell them when and when they cannot have an abortion because they only think about themselves. They don't care about that child that's growing in their body who is alive. You have a coochie? Why are straight guys so obsessed with lesbians? How um, that is actually bullshit. Not all straight guys are obsessed with lesbians. I myself, I, I, I don't really care. Like, let me put it like this. When I watch porn, chances are I'm not going to look at a lesbian couple. Because I like to imagine that I'm the one that's, you know, you know. But yeah, not all men. Actually, there are plenty of men that actually find that just as disgusting as two men doing it. You know, I worked with a, I worked with a lot of people that simply did, they, they didn't like it. You know, they simply don't, they found it disgusting. So again, you're putting everyone in one group again. Well, that's not the truth. The truth. And those men that are obsessed with lesbians, well, I guess they just, well, they just like to see two girls going at it. You know, it's maybe that's what turns them on. That's something individually. Some people like, I don't know, watching another girl eat shit. You know, two, two girls, one cup. There are actually guys that like that. That's something individual. Not everybody likes it. How does it feel to get kicked in the balls? Do you Really? You, you just, you really ask that? You really, you really want to know? Well, it hurts. It hurts a lot. You know how women say we will, not underst we will never understand how much it hurts to give birth? Well, you women will probably never understand how much it hurts to get kicked in the nuts. There you go. Ever get tired of trying to be manly all the time? No, no, not really. Mostly because um, I am a man and I'm not a feminine man, so it's basically who I am. You know, it's not something I can turn off. I mean... <sighs> Why are you so afraid of gender equality? Nobody is afraid of gender equality. At least the majority of men aren't. Actually, actually, I would say the one that is actually scared of equality is you women. Uh, no, not you women, I'm sorry. You feminists, new age feminists, because you want more rights than men to have. 
and at some point you actually already do like I said with uh, rape and harassment cases you got you women get treated a lot more serious than men do but again you don't want to talk about that why do I deserve to be paid less than you and uh, because you don't and you won't this wage gap has been debunked over and over and over and over and over and over it it's like it's not even like beating a dead horse, it's like beating a dead horse's skeleton right now. In what world does 77 cents equal a dollar? In what world does 68 cents equal a dollar? Not in the world we live in. Not in the Western world. Okay? If you do the same job that I do, you're going to get paid the same amount of money. If you put in the same amount of hours that I do in the, in the same job, you will get the same amount of money. But guess what? Most women don't want to do the same jobs that most men do. That is why. You know? Most men actually do jobs that are either a lot dangerous, a lot more dangerous, or simply one that took a lot more studying to do. I mean, what did you do? Gender equality? You think you should be paid the same as, uh, I don't know, a lawyer? I mean, just go go to a woman that's actually a lawyer and ask her if she gets paid less than uh, her male counterparts. Jesus, how many... Oh. How is that fair? Why are you intimidated by a woman who makes more money than you? That's awesome! More money! Um, really? Who, who, what? No, we're not. At least no man I know is intimidated by that. I'm not. Again, this is going into that individual thing. Sure, perhaps there are some men that simply want to make more money and that's because, you know, in their mind they want to be the one to be bringing in the bread. You know, and I can kind of understand that because it's in us. It's in men to take care of our family, to want to take care of our family, of our family. But no, not all men are intimidated by that. I, I dated a girl and uh, that was 2000. I think 2009 to 2013, she made a lot of money, way more money than I did. I wasn't intimidated by that. I know I wasn't a gold digger because I had my own job, my own shit. I don't like it when people in general pay stuff for me, but I wasn't intimidated. Actually, I was proud that she was doing that great. I was happy for her, and a lot of men actually are, so what, what the fuck? Why are opinionated women seen as bitches? When opinionated men are seen as bosses. What? No, bitches are bitches. Male or female, it's that simple. The thing is, it's about the opinion. If your opinion is bitchy or stupid or whatever, you might be called a bitch. If a man's opinion is stupid, he's gonna be called an asshole. Look at how many people are going after Donald Trump. Because he's an asshole. It's, uh, do, do you, do you, do you women think, you know, the women in the video, I mean, you know, when you were reading that question of a teleprompter or whatever, didn't you think that, hey, maybe, maybe these questions are kind of stupid? Why aren't you speaking up when you hear your male friends behind closed doors make jokes that are offensive to women? Why because they're jokes, okay? The same, it's the same reason that when a female, com female uh, comedy goes on and, you know, talks shit about males, that people laugh. Because they're jokes. You feminists take things way too serious. And sure, there are some jokes that go, you know, too far. Yeah, they are. But if you're with your friends, you shouldn't be scared of making a joke, you know. If it's a bad joke, your friends are going to tell you, hey, dude, that, that, that's, you're going too far, man, that's bullshit. But if a joke is funny, it's funny. It's a joke. Seriously, feminism, feminists, stop taking things so serious. You're gonna have you're gonna have a much better life if you can actually laugh about it. If a guy makes a sexist joke towards you, make a sexist joke back. Nine out of ten, nine out of ten times, he's gonna laugh with you. He's gonna say, "Hey, that's a good one. That, that's a good one." But no, you wanna all you wanna do is find sexism everywhere. No wonder your life sucks that you have to make a dumbass video like this. Fuck. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Almost. Why are you so afraid of recognizing your own privilege? 
doesn't mean you're a bad person. Just recognize it and do something about it. You mean just like you women aren't recognizing your privilege in the Western world? I mean, listen, if, if you lived in a place like Saudi Arabia or something like that, I would understand. I would understand if you talk about male privileges. But in the U, uh, you know what, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just so done. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm just... Uh, uh.